Hello everyone, thank you for checking in to Team Forbidden's YouTube page. It is I, Sergio Sama, the Collector, and... I am Eric the Cyborg, as you all should know by now. Yes, you should know. He is also a Cybers Master, so I have enlisted his help. Quote unquote, Cybers Master. Oh, yeah, I have enlisted his help to introduce me to this deck, which... I don't really want to say it right now, it might be my new favorite deck in the game. Over Blue Eyes. Blasphemy. I really, really like this deck. So yeah, we're doing a double deck profile. Salaman Great Structure deck came out, so... Almost everyone on the team actually has this together. I've got this together, Eric's got it together, Jarek the Fool is getting it together, and Andrew the Collector actually has it together too. He actually beat me at Locals today. Uh, we'll, tell, we'll tell you how in just a few moments, but uh, we're gonna do uh, something we haven't done since the Time Lords. We're doing a double deck profile on this because we both have all the cards and we're both running very similar, but at a the few. same time, a few differences. So let's get into it. Let's get with Salaman Great's uh, double deck profile. Let's do this. Let's blaze it up. All right, so first things first. First things first. Obviously, three. the triple debug. It's Summon dead. her out. Search for your level three or lower cybers. Literally, the whole entire deck is. Well, your main combo starters are mainly level three and lowers. Yeah, Gazelle. Which, and, which, which, speaking of which. Speaking of which. Gazelle, who is basically. Gazelle is. You can summon it whenever a. Uh, a summon great monster is sent, is to, the sent to the graveyard. And it's either from hand, deck, field. Doesn't matter from where. As long as it's in your hand, as long as when the Salaman Great card goes to the graveyard, you can summon her. And then you have a uh, Armageddon Knight effect for any Salaman Great card. Which is also very helpful. Yep. It because you can send this boy to the graveyard. And make an instant rank three. Spinny is not a hand trap. He's a discard and you can target a Salaman Great. Plus five. Actually, actually is it Salaman Great or any card? It's any card, isn't it? Salaman Great. No, one face-up monster on the field. Even better. But the uh, activation condition is you have to control a Salaman Great monster card. No card, so you can use it with the field spell as well. Yeah. So yeah, basic combo is summon Gazelle, go into Spinny, uh, send Spinny to the graveyard. Spinny's effect, when he's in the graveyard, if you control a Salaman Great monster, you can special summon him, but you banish him when he leaves the field. That's why you exceed after that point. Yep, that's why you make Mirage Stalio after that. We'll get to him later. Next, we're both running two Foxy. We're, we're both going to put it up to three. Yeah, uh, shout outs to um, uh, Tom from MSTTV. Yeah, you are correct. You need three of this card. So it's... It's a basically your alternative normal summon that you want to really see because essentially you summon it and you have you activate the top cards of your top three cards of your deck and you get a Salaman Great card there and add it to your hand. Next, we're going into the one ups. One Jack, Jack Jaguar, Jaguar for your monster recursion and also to uh, show back your monsters. Yeah, so he, and he's got piercing battle damage as well. Keep an eye out for that. Next up, one Falco. With when it says to the graveyard, you basically set one year Salmon Great uh, Spell of Trash from, your from graveyard the graveyard to your field. Back, back to the field, so... Recycle Circle, Recycle Will... Recycle, recycle Roar... You can, you can even recycle the field spell, which is why you only run one of it. Unless it gets banished, then you're fucked. Yeah, and then, and then if it gets banished, you're dead. Yeah. Uh, one Salaman Great Foul. Uh, there are a lot of people over here I don't think are playing this card. In most of the deck profiles I've seen, I could be wrong. But honestly, I think this guy is a really good extender. Basically, whenever you summon a Salaman Great monster, you can special summon it from your hand. And its optional effect is, while it's on the field, you can target one card your opponent controls, discard a Salaman Great card, strike that, reverse it. Uh, discarding the Salaman Great card is the cost. Target a face-up card in the opponent's field, and it's like, hey! One set know, card. One set card, yeah. Hey, you know uh, Trickstars with their uh, stupid light stage? Hey, we got that too. As a just, monster. Just, just not as good, but all of our Close enough. All of our stuff can we can get back from the graveyard, so it's easy. And now this is where our differences come up for our decks. Yeah, well, for yeah, he's got a couple of extra cards in the engine, so I'll let Eric explain these. So for me, I'm running one Salmon Great Mole. This card is is literally so good. It's the deck's pot of avarice. The only condition for it is that you must control no monsters. In order to use it, I'm only running one because you only need the one 
time time of using it. And it's also zero attack, so you can use this for for the reincarnation summon effect of Heat Leo. Yeah, and definitely. Bonus monsters attack zero. It definitely, yeah. And then I'm also running double backup secretary for also the uh, rank three. Has a more more splashable rank three engine. Yeah, he's going more splashable in the rank three engine. We've seen a bunch of people running the uh, in the OCG. They have two of the um, uh, the speedroid card. Teratop uh, and the top ten board. Yeah, but we don't we don't have Teratop at any more than one over here, so I don't advise running that. So just fair warning to you guys. This is actually pretty decent. He's made Mirage Stallio pretty successfully a bunch of times today. Let's get into the hand traps. We went super budget on this. Ash Common Blossom. babies. Finally common. <laughs> we never thought we would get this. It looks so weird. It does, but at the same time. And the, the the one downside though is the price of the deck is gouged up to $15 just because of her. She's $10. Which is BS. <laughs> just go to a Target, go to a Walmart. Don't go to your card shop. I normally say support your local card shop. But they're price gouging the decks at 50% more than they're supposed to be. Just see if you can find it at a Target or Walmart and buy it for the $10 price that it's supposed to be. Do or smarter, not harder. Or if you just want the ashes, just buy the ashes. Not just buy the deck. That buy, too. Buy the deck and get a fully competitive deck, dude. I mean, you're pay, you're gonna be paying 10 bucks for the ash. True. Structure deck said if you go to any store, they're 9.99. So of course they're not. Uh, other hand traps. Triple Valor. Because we don't have Ghost Spell. Which really would help this deck out. Yeah, Andrew Cause, does. Because Call by the Grave is this deck's worst enemy. It's the deck's worst enemy. Uh, Ghost Bell also helps a lot against the mirror match because of Spinny's effect, where you can only use each effect once per turn. Ghost Bell, if it uses its effect on a Spinny, that's it. You've already tried to use it. It counts towards that activation account. Yep. All right, next, that's it for the monsters. That is a lot of monsters it's, for me. Uh, it's a crap ton. I think you took my. No, never mind. That's your Spinny. All right, that's my so, Spinny. Spells! Single handedly. Best spell in the deck. Three roar. As long as this card is circle. at three. Circle, thank you. Salamagra circle. As long as this card is at three, you run no less. It's like, how many rotas would you run if Rota were at three? Hmm, I don't know. Three. How about three? <laughs> oh, and what's more? This is a quick play! Oh, what do you know? Its secondary effect is one that most people don't use, but it's essentially um, because most target effects nowadays are through like other card effects, like like well, frozen traps, the, sky the issue, strikers. Well, the issue is that it makes them uh, it makes them unaffected, but they need to be but by uh, monsters by monster effects. Yeah, and and they must be a, a reincarnated. Like, yeah. So yeah, the something we may have forgotten to mention, we'll mention with this. Salaman Great Sanctuary. So, for those of you who are unfamiliar with the character of Soul Burner in the Yu Gi Oh! Brains anime, because you're not watching it subbed like you probably should be if you're a true fan, Salaman Greats revolve around a mechanic called reincarnation link summoning. Basically, where you take a link monster, and you know how you can't normally take one link monster that's like a link two and then go into another copy of the same card? Salamangrates can actually do that. It's actually kind of interesting. So this is the card that allows it to do that. It also has some other sort of life point gaining effect, I think, that nobody uses. No one uses that effect. So they, they use it only because for the once per turn clause, and you only run the one because Baylink searches it out. I mean, you could possibly cite a second one just in case if it gets banished. You could, but nine times out of ten, it's a brick. Yeah. Uh, next up, Willow Salamangrate. I can't believe OCG players aren't running this card. It's Notice. a once per, it's a once per turn monster born soul charge. It's, 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 me. For yeah, any for or. any salmon grate in your graveyard or yeah. hand. Yep, so good. So you can either extend or extend. Which or one extend you want? Super hard. Yes. All right. Next one, fusion of fire. Fusion of fire. Now don't let the name fool you. This card is always treated as a salmon grate card. So it's searchable. So that means if you. Excavate that with Foxy. You can add it to the hands. You can get it. Or if you send it with Gazelle, you can get it back. It's so, it's The really possibilities good. are endless. And it can actually fusion summon from either side of the field. The so, problem is, it is a card effect though, so if you fusion a fire with a Sky Striker, they will get Ray out. Just hope that they're not smart. 
just hope that they're not smart enough to actually bring out Kagari when you summon your Ivana Chimera because, oh look, your sets are different. More yep. damage. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you can also run Super Poly too. That's one difference that the collector has from us. He actually was main decking Super Poly. He got me really good with that today. I'm actually seriously considering maining that as well. Because you can just one super fusion. polymerization and you just make Violet Chimera. But one fusion is usually all that you need. Usually. Unless you get into the grind games with the mirror match, but yeah. we'll get into that later. And then it's the next biggest weakness. Triple call by the grave. But it's also... It, it, it's, hand, getting hand traps sucks. Let's just put it that way. Yeah, in general. <laughs> and then now we're going back to the differences. Uh, he's running... Uh, I have back row hate because I hate back row. Yeah, he's he's got more back row hate. I'm running the Twin Twisters in the side deck. You'll see that in I'll, a moment. I'll, I'm possibly considering putting in a third one because there can only be one that kills this deck. Yes, it really does. And Once they flip that up and you don't have Twin Twisters in your hand, you're fucked. You're dead. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's you why you can do I, anything from that, that point. That's why I side them for the true Draco matchup because they're like the only deck that legitimately plays that card. Uh, I'm running Pot of Desires, just the one. I was trying to take a tip from the OCG. I'm probably going to trade this out for one of the cards that Eric is going to show here because I played it after I got hand trapped to try and see if I could recover. I got punished for playing this thing when I was desperate. Let's just put it that way. So, go ahead, Eric. And the other I'm running is the Foolish Burial to uh, set up your graveyard. Which Man. is very good. You just send Spinny with that and you have your place. Or, if you're in a hunch, send Falco, set a spell or trap back trap. to your yep. field. And then Monster Reborn because why not have double Monster Reborn? Yeah, the problem was I couldn't find room for it in mine. So, <laughs> yeah, that's it for the spells. He's a little more spell heavy, I'm a little more trap heavy, but then again, I have the impermanences, so. Uh, <laughs> I wonder why. Two, Salaman Great Roar. Two is fine. I mean, you, you could run three, but that's, I feel like that's way too much for it, because this card is searchable. And it's, it's, search, it's searchable and it recurs itself easy, and you can only activate either effect once per turn. So. Yeah. Uh, next up is one, Rage. Uh, it's actually pretty good. It, like it actually it. is pretty good. It's uh, it helps um, interrupt your opponent during their turn. Yep. Because let's say you have um, uh, Helio on board that's been um, yeah uh, that's been uh, brought back Link Summons. Re Reincarnation Link yeah. Summon. Yeah. You so you it's just like pop three cards. Yeah. It's like <laughs> uh, not targeting. Pop pop pop. pop, 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 pop. Uh, speaking of three. Da, 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 da. And then his differences. Yeah, and then I've got the strike. I, I went really heavy on the counter trap stuff. What can I say? I like these cards a lot. And the one judgment, I'm also running the warning as two just for the, you know, summon hate. Again, he's super trap heavy. I don't like traps that much unless I really have to run them. Yeah. So, so yeah, then, both 40 card main decks. Extra decks. Uh, let's get into it. 15 card extra deck. These extra decks are super tight. I mean, you, you'd think, ah, oh, you just need eight or nine cards for the extra deck. It, it can't be that hard to fill in the rest. <laughs> it's very hard. Yeah, no. <laughs> so, um. I'm, I'm running gonna, three Bay Links. He's running two. I'm gonna. He's gonna change it to three. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna come out with it. This is not correct. In the grind game, you need three. And I am fixing that, and I already know what I'm taking out for it. Next up, oh look at that! I'm getting a third one pretty soon. Yeah, we have we have the reverse. Literally the only <laughs> literally the only reason he's only running two is because he only has the two. You run three of this card. You need this card. I'm definitely going to be getting the second one pretty soon. Yeah, th this one is essentially Hands your down. playmaker. So we should probably explain the links. I mean, yeah. we already mentioned earlier, Bay Links is. Uh, it's basically your searcher. It's the reason you only run the one copy of the Sanctuary, because it searches it out. Uh, Phalanx also has an additional graveyard effect, which preps any... It saves anything from destruction. It's Return of the Dragonlords. So, yeah, that's... Uh, the only thing is you can only use each effect once per turn, of yeah. Phalanx once per turn. And, and there's a use clause, so if you get stopped, you can't use it again. Yep. And I believe that includes the destruction effect as well. Yes. So, yeah, that's highly unfortunate. But you run three of this card. You run three of this if you have it. Two Heat Leo. You don't really need more than two. 
Yeah. I mean, you if you ever go into this one, you're probably winning the game, but you don't need three. These and shinier are better than the than the original rare. Yeah, it, it really is. I like this artwork a lot better. Yeah. Uh, next up, uh, standard Nightmare Phoenix. I mean, it's Nightmare Phoenix. What more can we say? Yeah. Uh, you can run Cerberus if you want, but again, the extra deck space is really tight. But this one's a fire, and it's back row hate. So yeah, because. If you have this on board and then another Salmon Grade, you easily just send the Salmon Grade and this to make Heat Leo. Yep. And then and differences. Differences now. He's running. I'm running the Hita. I'm planning on running her in the future. I highly recommend her because she's really good against the mirror as well. She's good against the mirror. I faced Dinos today and I took. And I, and Give I took, me your Miscellaneous Saurus and I'll pretty, make a Link 3. <laughs> link 4. No, um, Rank 4 Baguska. Rank 4 Baguska. Target one fire monster. That's how I won that game. Yeah, and it's two monsters, so only one of the two monsters has to be a fire. Yeah. So it's really good. And then. Uh, and then I am running the Update Jammer. This card is pretty good. I might consider. I don't know if I'm keep it in there or not. I'm also thinking about it. And then I'm also running the Transcode Talker. This card is also pretty good because you summon your uh, Sunlight Wolf. You uh, link it away to make this, and then use this effect to over to revive the Sunlight Wolf back to or to anything. have a co links, and then he's giving them both five five hundred attack boosts, and they can be targeted by card effects, which is pretty damn good. So uh, and also especially with having this and and Phoenix together, it's like yep. can be sort of a battle can and they can be targeted by card effects. Meanwhile, my last link monsters I'm running, I'm running Boral Sword. Thanks again to my friend the cyborg here for getting this, securing me this card and Boral Load. I'm gonna be honest, I like Boral Sword a little bit better than Boral Load. I'm probably gonna take Boral Load out, but there are some matchups where you might want it. You probably might want to side the Boral Load just in case for certain matchups. Yeah, possibly, but the side deck is kind of tight too. True. So, next up. Double Mirage Stalio. He's the invoker for the deck. Summon, summon it. Detached material. Summon any Salamander Great Monster from your deck. In defense mode, mind that. Yeah, it has to be in defense mode. And when it's used for a Link Summon for a Salamander Great mo a Link Monster, it, you get to um, bounce any monster the opponent yeah. has. And next. Mention, it does target. Yes, it does. It does target, so if they have target protection, oops. But it does get rid of Colossus very nicely. Yes, it does. All right. Next. Bagusk. Bagushka. The sleeping terror top, top, top of the box. Yeah, everyone's running this one because it's it's good. You just make it Jack Jaguar and Falco or Foul, and then you just sit on it for a couple of turns and just stall. No monster effects. And, I'm, and then I OTK you next turn. <laughs> yep. I'm also running Gossip Shadow. I'll be 100% honest. I'm taking this out for the third Bailings for sure. Because I only went into him once. And his use is pretty lackluster in this deck. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, you make you make rank threes easy, but he's going down. I'm going to be getting rid of him soon. No. And then the only fusion you run... Is Violent Chimera. He's your main game winner. Because... Gains, he gains I'm going to OTK you, that's why. He, he gains attack, and if the opponent's monster is any different from its original attack... Which is pretty easy with Heat Leo. With uh, Heat Leo and the, the opponent's cards just... You know, that everyone gains or loses attack. Oh, it's different. Oh, your attack's different from your original attack. How about I'm going to double you up on that one? Double or nothing. Oh, you can't beat me? Game. So that's pretty much it. That's the extra deck. Again, extra decks are going to change. I'm going to be taking out the uh, Gossip Shadow for another Bay Lynx, and I'm probably going to change out a couple of other cards because the Mirror Possessed is really good. Uh, side deck really quick. Three Panker Tops. Three Twin Twisters. I am doing Triple D Barrier. Three Red Reboot. Uh, screw Same. off the guys. Uh, and the matchup is kind of bad. Pure Order. Evenly matched because I have the Evenlies. And, and two goes for me and hit three for him. So that's it. That's the Salamander Great deck profile. Burning at both ends. We've gotten two fiery, spicy deck profiles for you. So, anyways, it is I, Soto Summit the Fanatic. And I, Eric the Cyborg. Signing out. <laughs>